Phoenix Suns are the first team to reach the NBA Finals, question is, who will they face? This is a crucial game for our team, it's win or go home. Buddy Heald misses to open the game, not too good of a start. That's not how you want to start a big game like this. Clay to Gasol, great defense on this possession. And we end up getting the rebound, and we're going to leak it out to Paul George. So whenever you can get Paul George on the break, it's really good, especially against this team, because his half-court defense is insanely good. So every time you can get an opportunity to get an easy basket, it's always crucial against a team like this. So we get a stop here, Isaac gets a nice contest. Again, Paul George is going to go on the break, left to right crossover, and I get it into the paint with another dunk. That's how you want to start, get your best player going. Chris Paul is going to go all the way into the paint. Nice handoff from Jay Crowder and we get the layup to go. So speaking of nice plays, with Klay Thompson we're going to get another nice defensive stop with Jonathan Isaac. I'm not going to jump only at the end. We get another nice contest in the paint. And you already know when I can get a semi-transition opportunity with Paul George right to left crossover and another dunk. But Devin Booker is going to come right back, he's going to stop and go right here, that was a beautiful hesitation and he gets the dunk in the paint, it throws our defense a little bit. Double screen for Chris Paul getting into the paint and we're going to get and one, that's what we love to see for our point guard. Drew Holiday gets into the paint and Dre Crowder is there to guard and that's one of the adjustments I made, I put Jay Crowder against Drew because he's a little bit more size because when it was Chris Paul he was just straight up bullying him. So we get a nice defensive stop right there. Chris Paul is all alone on the other side. We're going to step it back here. Get him a little bit of space. Mid-range green beam. So the score is 13-8. to eight. There's about 3 minutes left to go in the first quarter. It's been great for our team so far. But Clay Thompson comes off the screen and hits a big triple. So every time he needs a basket, he has Clay Thompson, Devin Booker. He has D'Angelo uh, off the bench. I messed up my word there. So D'Angelo is going to run the 1-4 pick and roll. I'm trying to, my best to stay in front of him. He does a nice behind the back. He gets in the paint and the layup. So one of the reasons I play really high on D'Angelo is because he really knows his shot with D'Lo. And I'd rather have him taking the 2 than the 3 because he always greens the 3 with D'Angelo Russell. So trust me, I tried backing off and uh, <laughs> baiting him, but he always knocks down the 3. So... At this point, Clay Thompson knocks down the midi to end the first quarter. Every time my team senses that we're taking a nice lead, he always makes a big shot. He's got nice shot makers, great plays. D'Angelo gets to the rim again. So like I said, D'Angelo off the bench is a killer. It's, he's been killing it with him and um, very tough to stop because like I said, he has so many offensive options. He has D'Lo, Clay, Booker, and you can only have so many defenders for all these players. So at the second quarter, D'Angelo Russell, I think that's when he starts taking over. We'll try our best to contain him, but our team is missing our open looks. These are shots we make in the regular season, as you guys have seen in my videos. CP with the midi miss. <laughs> um, did I say midi miss? <laughs> wow, that sounded weird. But anyways, that was a nice play previously. Buddy Heald actually greens a three here, which is rare. Because I haven't been greening a lot with Buddy Heald in this series. I don't know why, but Chris Paul gets... Owned right here by DeAndre, <laughs> the uh, DeAndre Jordan. Oh my goodness, I, I mixed up D'Angelo and uh, DeAndre's name there. My bad. They both sound, you know, DeAndre, DeAngelo. Mistakes happen. On this specific play, you would think Buddy Hill would go to Jeff Green because I switched to CP3, but that didn't happen. So we ended up giving up a wide open three because of that confusion. I don't know man, the AI defense on this game is really, is not too good. They get lost a lot. <laughs> so now he helps Booker with a midi miss. I keep saying midi miss, that's terrible. But DeAndre Jordan is the god of offensive rebounds and he gets a corner three. Like I said, DeAndre Jordan is playing like the Los Angeles Clippers DeAndre. I'm telling you, this is why I always wanted to draft DeAndre Jordan. If you guys watched my last two drafts, I always wanted to get DeAndre, but he always got him. <laughs> he always got taken before I could actually pick him. So I know DeAndre is a beast on the boards, so that's why I wanted him. And now he's killing me in the conference finals. So kind of sucks, but you know there's nothing I could do about that. Wide open midi, 
Actually, no, that wasn't wide open. He got a contest, but that was a great play. We ended up missing. And one thing I wanted to mention is that I was supposed to upload these videos a few days ago, but the thing is, I live in uh, Montreal, and Montreal is in uh, Quebec, Canada, if you don't know. Montreal is basically the city where Chris Boucher and Lou Dort is from. They're from Montreal, so the reason is that we had a lot of snow in the last few days, and there's always these snow trucks here making so much noise. And every time I would press to record the commentary, yo, those noises would come in the background, and it really wasn't a pleasant experience, so I decided to hold off. So I probably failed. I, I know I failed the challenge. I, <laughs> I was going to say probably, but I did fail the challenge. I didn't upload every single day. But trust me, if those snow trucks weren't there, I definitely would have uploaded this previous days. But it's all good. As long as I'm able to put the video out today, that's all that matters. This is going to be another nice screen on top of the key. Like I said, I didn't have too many defenders remaining because it was so hard to guard D'Angelo, Drew, Booker, Clay, all of these guys together drain their staminas. This is a bad play. I try to do a behind the back, but sometimes 2K makes your player does do something that you don't want them to do. <laughs> so like I said, that turnover before halftime, I was trying to do behind the back, and Paul George somehow went all the way to half court. He brings a double, but he healed wide open in the corner, and I miss. So that's one thing he did throughout the series. He brought double teams to Paul George, which led my shooters open, but I wasn't able to capitalize. He makes a three, and that's a big six-point swing. Because one thing with Buddy Heal is I haven't shot too many threes in the corner with him throughout the season. And his release in the corner is super, super fast, so I wasn't used to it. Another open three here, but Covington somehow gets a contest. He was stuck under a screen, but somehow managed to get a 40% contest. That was crazy. <laughs> I thought he was wide open. Another wide open three here. Another miss. Like I said, these corner threes are super, super quick. Because if you didn't know on next gen, when you shoot in the corner compared to the top of the key, the release speeds are different. That's how they um, program next gen to be. The releases are different depending on where you shoot on the court. The distance, the location. Paul George to the rim, finally gets a dunk. So like I said, he's bring, bringing double teams to Paul George. It feels like Paul George was the only one capitalizing this third quarter. And he's going to get a steal on this next possession right here. Paul George, like I said, has been trying to help us get back in this game. But it's been tough because he's been bringing double teams. Again, double team here. Buddy Heald is wide open. That's a shot that we usually knock down. That's a miss. So I can't complain about the looks I'm getting. These are the shots that I always take. Again, the computer, they decide to help here when I don't ask them to help. They left DeAndre wide open. On this specific play, my computer decides to double team D'Lo. I don't know why. It causes a big scramble. And D'Angelo, I keep saying D'Angelo. DeAndre gets the offensive rebound and he gets the nice put back here from D'Angelo. This is a nice clip, but this is going to end up being a miss. So this third quarter is very tough because our defense is scrambling all over the place. D'Andre, I keep messing up the <laughs> Man, it's a tongue twister. When you have to keep saying D'Angelo and D'Andre, D'Andre, it happens. Again, the computer helps. D'Angelo is wide in the corner. Man, our AI defense was so bad in this game. Paul George at a wide open three. Like I said, this third quarter was very tough. And heading into the fourth, it's no different. Even Jordan Clarkson is coming into the game, knocking down threes. All series long, Jordan Clarkson wasn't doing anything. And all of a sudden, in this game, he starts greeting all these threes. <laughs> There's nothing I could do at this point. And watch, I let Buddy Hill try and guard D'Angelo. He's just watching him, not even trying. Like I'm saying, the EI defense is so bad. Buddy Hill was straight up just watching D'Angelo Russell take that layup. That was crazy. I miss a midi with PG right here with takeover. And I'm going to miss another shot. <laughs> oh my goodness, I never missed this many shots throughout the season. This is the, the worst game actually to have this type of game where you miss all your shots. But anyways, the game is over and despite being double team, PG still dropped 32. We had a great series, I can't complain. We just missed open shots. He had some nice defensive adjustments by doubling Paul George. And he ended up winning the championship this year, so I don't feel too bad about it. I'll show you guys his run. The Nets beat the Sixers in round one who had Trey Young and LeBron James. LeBron didn't perform too well in the determining game. 
he went 5 for 15, which is rare for LeBron. <laughs> Usually he steps up in the games where it matters most. So he beat Vucevic, LeBron, and Trey Young in the first series. In round two, he beat the Toronto Raptors, who had Jason Tatum, John Morant, Al Horford, Fred Van Fleet. The Brooklyn Nets really had a great run in this season. He beat me, the number one seed. He swept the two other seeds. He beat the Phoenix Suns, who was the number one team in the NBA in our season. He was the number one seed in the West. He had Joel Embiid and Kawhi Leonard. So imagine, he beat the number one seed in the East and he beat the number one seed in the West, which had also the best record in the NBA. Would it, like I said, he has Joel Embiid and Kawhi Leonard. You'd think that team would win the NBA Finals, but this just goes to show how good the Brooklyn Nets are. He made some adjustments. D'Angelo Russell had a big game with 33 in one of them. And I think the next game, Klay Thompson is the one that went off. Klay Thompson ended up dropping 50 points. I'll show it to you guys on the next clip. I'm just going to scroll through the, these games really quickly. And then I'll show you guys that 50 piece that Klay Thompson dropped. And Kawhi and Joel Embiid was performing very well as well. But like I said, the Brooklyn Nets have a lot of offensive options. And he ended up beating this team, which I'm very impressed. So here's the 50 point game by Klay Thompson. He had 11 triples. 11 for 14 so you probably know Klay Thompson <laughs> probably went game 6 mode and just absolutely destroyed the Phoenix Suns Klay Thompson tied the NBA record for the amount of threes and don't mind that 26 to 6 box score 2k glitched out on that box score but like I said <laughs> this is a crazy season I'll show you guys the ghetto footage from the championship parade he sent me pictures from his TV, from his cell phone. He took photos because he didn't record it. So this is the ghetto footage, <laughs> ghetto celebration. So as you guys are watching the celebration, I want to just say thank you so much for season one. The support has been amazing. You guys have been watching since the draft all the way to the playoffs. Unfortunately, we didn't win this season. But like I said, um, this league is very tough to win in. We never have back-to-back -back champions. Every season is a different player. So it's a lot of competition in this league. So I really appreciate it. it. Makes you better every season. And I'll be definitely making a playlist for all the seasons that we're going to be playing. And season two will be starting next week. Hopefully you guys are ready. Like I said, I really appreciate all the love and the support you guys have been giving me. So season one is over. And I'll be starting season two next week. And like I said so many, so many times, I really appreciate all the love you guys have been giving me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.